dearly beloved and honored guests. We are gathered here today to celebrate the union, the spiritual union of marriage between Sarah Rachel, sorry, Sarah Marie Allison and Rachel Lauren Webb. This contract is not one to be entered into lightly. <laughs> sorry. But one to be entered into seriously. I'm so sorry. Not entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously, and with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. Please remember that love, loyalty, and understanding is the foundation for a happy and enduring home. Sarah, you can be seated. From the moment I met you, I could tell you would be a large part of my life. I could just not have imagined the monumental speech you would play in helping me be the person I am today. People ask what I thought of you the first time we met. Honestly, I was more concerned I was overdosing on cough syrup and think about much else. From the beginning of our relationship until now, you have exemplified what true love, loyalty, and dedication looks like. You have supported me through some of the toughest parts of my life. You have encouraged me to be a stronger, tougher, more authentic version of myself. You've helped me grow to realize that I don't have to change myself to be accepted. Help me realize that letting go is sometimes the best way to help yourself hang on. And for those things, I'll be forever grateful. I've always wondered what love would look like for me. Never did I imagine it would be a six foot tall ER nurse with tattoos and blue hair. <laughs> but boy, am I so glad that's what it is. Because on top of being the most beautiful human I have ever laid my eyes on, there is so much more underneath your surface. You're kind, you're the smartest person I've ever met, you're compassionate for animals and humankind alike. You have a great sense of authenticity that I have admired from the very start. You can take a person or situation for what it is and roll with whatever comes along with it. The longer we are, the, the longer we are together, the reasons from the love and adore you keep exponentially growing. I was writing this at work and questioning my career choice as the bed alarms rang out. I grew to understand that these are not just vows and promises, they're privileges. I not only promise to love you forever, but I get to love you forever. And that is the greatest honor that has ever been bestowed upon me. Along with loving you more than Archie loves waking us up at 2 a.m. on a work day. I vow to support you through any up or down. I vow to always protect your honor and your good name even when you aren't around. I vow to always let you be the passenger princess, no matter the distance. I vow to lift you up on days when you're feeling low. I vow to be your safe and quiet space when you need time to rest. And lastly, and maybe most importantly, I vow to always overfill the wine glass. <laughs> Throughout the year and a half we've known each other, we've been through a couple title changes. From strangers to friends, friends to in a relationship, in a relationship to engaged. And here in just a few moments, I will get to call you what I've been waiting for since day one. I get to call you my wife. I have never been more excited or felt luckier than I do today, standing here right now, in front of all our family and friends, about to start the greatest endeavor of our lives. Cheers to forever. I love you. Although I was the one that decided we're writing vows, this speech is exceptionally hard for me. Because as most people know, I hate attention. All eyes on me is always been an arduous task that I avoid at all costs. When it comes to you, though, I will shout my love for you from every rooftop, even if all eyes are on us. I'll kiss you and let the world know that our love is as valid as any other. You mean the absolute world to me. You're my other half. There is nothing I would do for you. In validity, I could say we butt heads. You managed to find my last nerve and you pushed me when I don't want to push. But in saying that, you push me when I need to be pushed. You make me a better person and optimize my growth every day. You find my last nerve and make me laugh when the darkness has consumed me. You butt heads with me to remind me that I'm not always right. Even if I am. <laughs> you remind me to look at things from a different perspective. 
Everything you have done for me to throw me into is a middle of the for life. Life is hard. We will have our struggles, but today we can conquer anything. In every lifetime, I believe you have one soulmate, one person that stands by your side as you move through the world, through trials, tribulations, success, and failures. You have stood by me as I have faced everything, including my demons, with more courage than I could ask for. It. When I felt like I was too much, you showed me that I haven't let you in enough. For me, as you know, but maybe not everyone else, that box that my trauma and feelings. I put them in a box that I hope to never open. I put them in the back of my mind and ignore them. Uh, the first time you asked me to open them was on vacation. We were at the beach overlooking white sands and the ocean that you chose that that was a better time or a better spent of seeing me open boxes than enjoying the ocean. And since then, you have always put me first. I vow to return that favor and always put you first. I vow to stand by your side and face everything life throws at us. I vow to make all of your doctor appointments because they give you anxiety. I vow to hold you and cry and fight whoever you need me to fight for a week first. I vow to take care of you when you are sick, even if you are the most dramatic patient I've ever had. And I'm saying a lot. I vow to give 90% when you only have 10%. I vow to love you with my whole heart for the rest of my life. I love this life we have created so far. I love the way we love our small family. Bella, Ringo, Shotzi, Molly, Scott, Reggie, Percy, just little. I adore traveling with you and all of our date nights. It has been my pleasure to meet all of your family who have been me with open arms. I love that you have met my family, chosen and blood, and embraced them as your own. Of all of our adventures, this is by far my favorite. Spending my life with you has been honor, and I can't wait to see all the shenanigans we're getting into. Okay. To you, Rachel Lauren Weber, take this woman, Sarah Marie Allison, to be your lawfully wedded partner, in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, for richer, for poorer, and hold her unto yourself for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, Rachel, I'm sorry, <laughs> Sarah Marie Allison, take this woman, Rachel Lauren Weber, to be your lawfully wedded partner, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, for good times and bad, for sicker, for, for richer or poorer, to have and to hold unto yourself for as long as you both shall live? I do. Oh, that's right. <laughs> um, now you, now Sarah and Rachel will exchange rings. We're on the rings. Rachel first. By the authority vested in me in the state of Tennessee, I now pronounce you wife and wife. You may now kiss your brides. One more time. Hold on one second. Don't leave yet. Ladies and gentlemen, I now pronounce to you the Webbers. And that time I went and 
Woo.